Hello everyone, here we want to talk about the software that helps us for ma managing our raw material inventory. The raw material inventories are the products or a material that can be used for producing a final product. So uh, if we manufacturing something, we need some materials to produce those products. When you open the Excel file for first time, you may see a yellow ribbon that asks you to enable the editing. Please go and enable the editing. And also because this Excel file is developed based on the macros and VBAs, please enable the content of the VBA. After that, you can use this Excel file. So let's go into the first sheet of this Excel file. So in the first sheet of this Excel file, you are able to place and reordering or ordering which means that ordering the raw material from the supplier and withdrawal up from the, your inventory. For example, you want to withdraw it to give it to the manufacturing process to produce, to produce some products. So at first, you may need to order some quantity of these raw materials. So you are able to select your raw materials or you are able to write a new raw material, for example, BB is my new raw material that I don't want to purchase. So, for example, if you uh, if you write the BB, you can uh, you can see there is no units, no current bonds, or no reordering. So you are able. So if you submit this, it asks you to submit what is your initial bonds. For example, zero, and what is your reordering point? For example, one hundred and then you can add this to your inventory. So after that, this new product is added to your inventory. These inventory products or raw materials are uh, stored into this table. In this table, you are able to see what is your current bonds, what is your reordering point, and what is your status. And the status means if you are in balance based on this reordering point or you need to reorder, make a place and order a quantity from the supplier. So you are able to change these quantities or information in this table. If you do that, for example, I want to change these current bonds of the floor to the, to the 6,000. And if I do that in my in and out form, I will not be able to see what's happened to floor floor. So you should be update this table, this table showing which products need to be reordered. And if you man if you change something here, nothing will be saved as what you reorder. So if you want to have your reorder data, you need to use this form instead of updating the inventory table directly and the inventory table uh, is good when you want to add new for example materials and if you want to update the current balance without making any order data without using any order data so here uh, this is the reordering form the reordering form will show you how much you want to purchase what is the total payment who bought this uh, material, what, who is the agent that uh, placed this order, for example, what is your invoice number, what is the supplier name, and so on. You are able to change uh, these texts as you want, uh, but you are not uh, allowed to change the position of the cells in this form. Also, these units will be found uh, based on this formula, if I checkbox the formula bar you can see this is there is a formula here so please do not change anything here because the formula will be removed if you remove the formula you need to write it again and you will see what is your current balance and what is your reordering point so for example for a product bb i do not to make any more orders because my reorder point is 100 and my current balance is 4000 and I do not need to make any orders. But for sure, for example, my current balance right now is 2000 and the reordering point is 4000. So for example, if I want to select the sugar, I can type that and then I can make an order, for example, uh, 
for then 3000 I guess it's okay also I can see my current bonds here is 2000 and the reordering is 4000 as well so I submit the order and also after you submit you can see the sugar is removed from this uh, table this table shows you which products need to be reordered also you can use the remove last items the remove last item will remove the last item of the table these table are the tables that store the data this is for the withdrawal database and this is reorder database the last one is sugar so for example if you go to aa and submit the remove last item the last item was sugar so sugar was removed and you can see it's just back to my table that need to be reordered and in the withdrawal form i can select or type which material i want to withdraw from my inventory and give it for example to the production if you choose the production you want to give it to your manufacturing process to produce some final products or it's not for the production if it's not for the production it means for example you are giving to the end user you you can sell some of your raw materials to the end user as well so this is one example you may have some other reasons so for example i use the production if you use the production this uh, item will be used in the usage form in the usage report so it's matter for your usage in uh, report and if you choose not production it means that you do not want to have it in the usage report this usage report is useful when you want to see how much you use it in the production from this material and how much you withdraw it from the inventory for producing some of these final products and what is your waste demand we will reach on this we will talk about this later in this video so let's get back to the in and out form in and out form i can submit this data and i can say i right now withdraw it 500 amount 500 kilogram of sugar so right now my current balance is 1500 the reorder point is 4000 and i need to reorder it. so for example let's reorder that now also you are able to write some notes and also you are able to say what who was the agent who withdraw it from the inventory so you can for example for example tracking the this person withdrawal in the future if you want also you have another button here for adding new material if you want to add new materials by this way you can use this button and also you have another thing this is the unit calculator for example if i purchase something from the uk i will use to purchase it based on the pound unit and i want to make a or i want to have data based on the kilogram you need to remember that this kilogram need to be constant in this excel file for a reordering for withdrawal and also for the usage so in the usage and in receipts if i use sugar i need to use just one unit and that means the kilogram so if you purchase something based on the pound you need to convert it to the kilogram and you can use this calculator you can choose what is your first unit and what the unit it need to be uh, converted to and you need to for example type the how much you want to be converted for example right now five uh, i purchased three thousand pounds and three thousand pounds is the one thousand three hundred and sixty kilograms and how i can uh, change this and update this conversion table conversion calculator in the setting you can choose for example the units that need to be converted to another for example unit a one amount from the unit a means for example two amount for the unit two unit b so one unit a means that two units the unit b and this is the convert index based on this index i can find and uh, calculate the 
conversion so make sure when you add something in this table this convert index be generated based on this formula so let's get back to the in and out form here i have the aa right now and i can choose because there is nothing to be converted from a to kilogram there is just one and one for the bb so if i choose bb i can see 3000 of aa is 6000 bb so this is how this calculator works as well so i told you about the updating as well so let's go to the inventory we talk about the inventory let's go to the receiver for the receipts i want to say how much from for example this raw material needed to produce these final products so i need to tell how much from raw materials needed to be uh, used for producing one unit of these final products i also can enter whatever amount i wanted for the final products to be to my uh, and that can help you to define the raw materials more easy way so for example for producing cake i need 120 cakes i need for example 10 kilogram of butter i need to add that to my recipe and then for example i need sugar as well so i have for 120 cakes i need for example 20 kilogram of sugars i need to add that amount if you see in this table this is a coefficient so i need 0.08 kilogram of butter to producing just one unit of the cake as you can see this is just for one unit and for the 120 i want i need 10 units so this is how uh, this recipe works you need to add these so for example for oil i need one kilogram oil for example and if you want to remove something from this table you just need to select the raw material and use the minus or if you do not have such raw material here and use minus the last row will be removed for example if i use that the last row will be removed and if you use the remove button this remove button will remove my recipe from the recipe database so if i want to save my recipe in my database i need to press the save button so unless you press the save button nothing will be saved so after you show your uh, recipe is okay then save it to the database if you for example after a while choose another let me see choose another final product and refresh that you can see if you have anything for the recipe you can reload it and see the recipe of the bread for example and you can see how much is the coefficient and what is needed to produce one amount for example i want to need to see how much is needed for producing 150 amount of the breads i can see it by using that here so this is useful for seeing how much you need to withdraw from your inventory for producing 155 of breads so this is how this recipe works and about the usage when uh, for example in the timeline of the day one month 10 and 2020 to the day of 30 month 10 of the, the year 2019 i produced 50 units of the cake and 100 units of the breads after that i want to see how much is my material usage you can copy paste this amount from another excel file if you have or another uh, software if you have we have something in our uh, website in the diaco.co.uk that can help you to manage your production as well so if you want to manage your production of your products orders and production you can go to our website diaco.co.uk and download that excel file as well to using it as your software to managing your manufacturing and inventory of the final products so for example you have such a 
software and you copy paste those uh, amount of your production in the timeline of the first to the 30th of the month 10 and this is these amounts you need to first clear the data for example let me clear clear the data for example i copy paste the cake and the bread and i produce a 50 for units of the cake and 100 units of the bread after that i need to press the run button and i can see how much is used from each of these raw materials to producing these amount of the final products and how much i withdraw it from my inventory and how much is wasted based on this so for example if you withdraw it 8000 of the sugar this is the test data so for example if you uh, withdraw it 8000 of the sugar and just use 8 kilogram of this sugar to producing this amount in this timeline you wasted 7000 of this uh, sugar so what's happened this what's happened to these sugars we can ask from the manufacturing person and this is the waste percent after you see your uh, report you need to save it to your database to having more reports in the dashboard so in the dashboard if i go to the dashboard in the timeline i need to first define my timeline what is my start date and what is my end date and after that i need to update my uh, reports and after that in this uh, table i can see how much is ordered how much i bought from these raw materials how much is withdrawn and what is the waste because i just don't i i just withdraw i just order something and i just do not withdraw something from material a i do not have any waste amount so uh here i can see what is my total withdrawal what is my total order and what is my total waste amount of these materials in this timeline in this timeline and here i can choose to see what is the trend of the my uh, trend of the waste amount from each of the raw materials i can filter based on the raw materials here and just see it for example one raw material or other raw materials and i can for example choose the time duration to see the trend of my raw material in the these time durations so this is how this excel works this is the the other things are the database that store the digital and in the product list as well we assert your product list and in the setting we just have two more buttons one is for saving the databases which if you use this button ask you where you want to save your database it will generate a new excel file and add these databases to that excel file copy that and then save it to the folder you wanted so it's getting the backup from your software from your data of your software and the clear the data is the thing that you need to use when you download this excel file to not have the test data so first use the clear the clear the data to removing all data in the databases so uh, for example if you press the clear the data it asks you are you sure you say yes i'm sure so you need to update this uh, table by yourself you will see the product table is empty usage database receipt database and all databases are just clear okay this is how this excel file works i hope it's helped you a lot thanks for watching and goodbye in order to watch more training videos please subscribe to our youtube channel diaco otd and if you want to see our products please visit our website diaco.co.uk